in a first session with a child, um, I'd be looking at their age and their development and can they sit and talk to me for a long period of time? Are they only going to make it a half an hour? Um, but again, ahead of time, I've spoken with the parents. I have a good understanding of the situation and who the child is. I'll ask questions like what are their strengths and weaknesses? Um, what are they comfortable with? How long can they sit down and talk? So I have kind of a general sense of, can I sit down for an hour with them? Will they only make it 20 minutes? Um, do they need to be really active and engaged? Do they love talking? Are they really shy and bashful? That said, I, I usually try to have two or three things planned ahead of time that I could sit down and do with them. So I'm initially meeting with a child. There's lots I don't know about them. I want to understand how they see the world, how they see their family and their situation. So um, a couple of things I might do is I have a several get-to-know-you games. There's the ungame for kids. There's little card games where you can sit and ask each other questions, and then I have to answer the question for the child, and they answer it. And it just opens up dialogue. It's non-threatening. It's more comfortable. So even just sitting down and playing a game with a child, I could have in my mind three or four questions, three or four things I want to know about the child that I'm just casually going to bring up, but I'm doing it in a way that's less threatening. Some kids could just be sitting down and coloring with them. Um, I have a lot of expressive activities I'll do with a child that on their end will seem fun and enjoyable, and on my end I know have a purpose. They, they're forming information for me. I'm collecting uh, data and getting to know how the child sees their world better. So I might sit down and, and have them color in a picture and ask these questions, or we might play a casual get-to-know-you game or I might have an activity that's more structured where I'm asking them to tell me the emotions they feel on a regular basis and what color would you color them. Um, so I would, I would say in general, always have two or three different things prepared because you might sit down with a child and they really hate to color um, and you find out they really enjoy just sitting and talking to you. So you kind of throw that aside and say, okay, let's talk. Or they're really resistant or they're really, really shy or intimidated by you and I'll say, well, you know what, let's play a game, and pull out a game and play that game. But in the back of my mind, I have a desire of what I want to understand and know about them. Mm -hmm.